subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys and welcome back to so Nisra Alpha 18. It is now 3 minutes to 4 in the morning and I actually did quite a bit off camera. I'm actually mad at myself. As you guys can see I combined all the power armor that I had or rather I made more and combined and combined. Uh, we ran out of military fiber so I couldn't get this one to raid but the rest are nice and high. And then while doing that I thought okay let's just see what my armor is because if, I if I'm not mistaken my armor is like purple and stuff. Let's make steel armor. And then I realized wait 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 when I, I looked into this bench over here. What's better than steel armor? Titanium! <laughs> I can't believe I didn't make this sooner. Now I have titanium everything, it's mostly modded. Um, I've made some insulated and cooling meshes over here. And the rest actually had everything that's needed. Now everything has armor, it's the strongest armor and everything. So we shouldn't take as much of a pounding. Also as you guys can see over here, I actually picked all the corn. And unfortunately it seems the corn you get is normal corn. Now I have to use super corn again from our farm up top to plant more seeds. And I have to repeat that and repeat that until this whole farm is full. So these will grow now because they've already been planted. But I do need uh, special seeds, the super corn, every single time I want to make more seeds for this down here. Even if I pick these, which actually sucks a little bit. Now this episode, um, I actually want to see how far we can get with the defenses before the ward starts. As you guys can see, I have all the barbed wire, the blocks, everything on me. Um, I managed to upgrade quite a few blocks to titanium or everything that's needed at the moment. Uh, I should have probably upgraded more, but time was running out, and I decided, you know what, let's just stop at a good note. And on a good note, I mean, like, I was able to get this side and this side, so when zombies fall down here, they uh, they explode or vomit on titanium. And at the back over here, it's just normal steel. So I hope that's not going to be a problem. Over here as well, it's just normal steel. There's no reinforced steel, anything like that. So I hope this works. Now, what I want to do is, we have these blocks over here. 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. I just want to keep adding this in quickly. This is just going to make sure that if the zombies explode next to this thing, they don't start making holes and then can get further. Now obviously, the, uh, this spot over here is the weak spot. Um, especially here where the dirt is, because this is actually 1.2k HP and this is like 250. So the asphalt is 5 times stronger than the dirt around it. Hello lady, are you going to protect me when there's a wandering horde? I really, I made so much noise during the night and I didn't get a single wandering horde, so I'm really expecting a few behemoths and stuff to come through over here. So the more of them are in the area, the better for me, because then I can just focus on getting stuff done. Now what I want to see if I can do, guys, I want to see if I can place all the stuff, the iron bars, the floor, the barbed wire. Just basically get ready for horde night. And then I want to go and do that quest, the, you know the building that has the three quests in one? I want to see if we can do all those quests today before the horde. And then I'm not going to be accepting any new trader quests after that. Reason being is after the horde, I want to do the uh, Eve quests. And I don't want to get uh, confused between uh, the trader quest and the Eve quest. I want to make like a video on the Eve quest. And that also means we're going to be doing the small bunker. And then I also want to do the large bunker for the episode after that. So it all depends on how much ammo I have left and how much destruction this base gets. If this base is destroyed, obviously we're going to have to first repair this. And it's gonna delay how it's gonna delay the episode for the big bunker. But the sooner this gets done, or the sooner this is up and running, the face sword, we can go out and explore a bit. I'm just not looking forward to all the lag because in that biome it should be a ton of lag. Although if we're underneath the ground, it shouldn't be as bad. So let's just hope that is the case. I don't want to do that episode if it's gonna be like 20 frames per second. And I want to see because I want to do it the proper way. I want to go through that whole big bunker, and if I come across like body bags and stuff, respawners. So as you guys know, there are zombie spawners in the game, in the small tech bunker. Sometimes the zombies just keep spawning and spawning and spawning. It's because of those body bags. So if you destroy them, you should be able to destroy the horde, I think. I'm not quite sure on that fact. Um, I want to make that uh, sure about that before I start the episode. Because in the big bunker, you don't want zombies just respawning off uh, behind you. You're going to clean it out from the top. This one just heard a zombie. Uh, you want to clean it out from the top and then just make sure it takes... So as you go from floor to floor, you destroy all the body bags, and then the last room, you can actually farm that room. The one with the demon portal, where the demon just keeps, uh, the demons just keep coming and coming and coming, and you have to wait for the, either the spawn to end, or destroy that demon gate. Although it's not a demon gate, you can see they were experimenting on demon gates. It's a, I think it's a bluish color kind of gate. It's a quite an awesome concept. Okay, now, as you guys can see, we have way more blocks left than I thought we would. I wonder if I shouldn't remove this whole area. The thing is, the zombies aren't gonna just fall down, and they might just do this. They might run around this, and then head to the steps. But if they go out, I wonder if I should make this a little bit wider. 
we have 400 extra blocks, so if I make it wider, we know that there's no chance of them destroying or uh, exploding over here. So I think two out more on each side, that should do it. On the back of here, I'm just going to keep it two because the zombies shouldn't be exploding back, uh, back there. There shouldn't be a reason for the zombies to be back there in the first place because they're going to go around. I just hope that the stairs aren't too far away from me. Like they say, nah, that's too far away, let's just quickly go over here and try and destroy it from over here. If that happens, it's going to actually suck. I didn't actually account for if that were to happen. Although with the wedge tips, it should be fine. Uh, because the wedge tips do not allow them to get up and they just more or less congregate at the base. But, if enough of them actually make damage over here or explode, they're going to start breaking these blocks and then start tunneling like with the last base. And we cannot afford that. Okay, I'm still going to do the Where's UK uh, series guys after this. I just want to make sure we actually do the small bunker, the big bunker. I want to do this horde night, and if this takes, I want to do another two hour horde. And I think I might just do that like, ooh, I hate that effect, uh, the fact that I just did that. But yeah, um, if this horde goes smoothly, then as a, as a finale to this whole series, I'll do a two hour horde, like with my 1000 video special. A two hour horde, and then just hope to god it actually holds. Or you might just say, if it doesn't hold, it's almost like, you know when people blow up the bases at the end of a series of TNT? The horde will be my TNT. But I just want to make sure we can actually face this horde. And then we're going to set it from 1 hour days to 2 hour days, which just means the horde isn't going to be 15 minutes long, but it's going to be 40 minutes long. Okay, um... I keep hearing zombies. I hope it's just my imagination. If that all of a sudden surprise me, maybe I'm going to be screwed. Okay, now this should be more than wide enough if they run back over here. If a few of them explode, it's fine. I'm really actually worried because Killer Bunny told me about the bomber zombies, those orange ones. I thought they were just different colors for different zo uh, different zombies that do the same thing as cops. So basically, it's a cop but not a cop kind of thing. But it turns out, nope, they're just bomber zombies. So I have to watch out for them. Uh, but they're technically cops because they do also vomit and stuff, don't they? Or do only the dark ones vomit? As far as I can remember, the orange ones also do the same. It's like a base cop. The radiated cop, uh, on the other hand, is a little bit of a different situation, but other than that, it's a base cop, basically. But just in the form of like a, a Hawaiian zombie, or a fat zombie, or a fat lady zombie. Also guys, um, I just realized, since it is war day, we're gonna have to clear this, uh, we're gonna have to finish here fast and then go driving around. Remember, on war day, the bike stop, uh, the mini bike stops working. Now, I noticed last time, it was last horde, 4 o'clock, ooh, you just give me a fright, lady. 4 o'clock, <laughs> the, uh, the bike was still, the mini bike was still working like 10 to 4. I'm not sure if it actually from 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, when does the mini bike stop working? I want to make sure about that because otherwise I'm going to be out there thinking I'm safe and then all of a sudden I get screwed. Now, I don't think it's going to be necessary to add a floor over here. We just basically need two around. We have a ton of blocks left, but I, I'm just afraid that we're going to run out if I make it too wide. Um, okay, I'm going to make it three wide all around. And then if there are blocks left, I'll put it in between these to, to connect the stairs to that platform over there. That way we may uh, make sure that there's enough blocks because these are the last. I think there's still like four blocks in the forges, but these are the last blocks we have, guys. We've run out of titanium. The rest of the titanium I actually converted into uh, forged titanium, so this is the last we have. Now this is three wide, so we have to go one more via. And I've dug out the area like this. It's actually very, very close to that platform anyways. So what if I shouldn't just do that from the start? Ooh, I don't want to do that. I wonder if I shouldn't just connect the two from the start, because I mean, it is so close by. I don't think one or two blocks are going to make a difference. I hope. Also guys, um, now, that I'm not, uh, now that I'm with this auger in hand... Did you just say something? Usually they say something when there's zombies in the area. Anyways, now that I'm with auger in hand and I'm afraid of making too much noise so you guys can't hear me, um, for the horde itself, I'm actually going to be setting the sound down a bit. Because I've noticed in my previous hordes, the automatic guns are just so loud, so powerful, you can't actually hear me speak. So if I want to commentate over the horde, at least that way you guys will be able to hear me. This is one, two, three, see how close this is. I can just as well connect them, but I just want to make sure we have enough blocks. Okay, and then also I have to watch out for any wandering zombies. We do now have titanium armor. It's the most powerful armor, so we don't have to worry too much. But you still wanna, don't want to take a chance with the beamers and stuff. Now when I go for the big bunker, obviously this is going to be a little bit of a problem. Because as you guys know, there's a ton of behemoths in those big bunkers. So, and the fact that my power armor isn't actually maxed. I need to see if I can get from the trader more military fibers or something. If I can do that and get more power armor and just make full level 80 ones, that should be okay. 
I want to be able to make sure that we have at least have all our armored mods on there, and then we be, should be safe from the horde, or rather from the behemoths. Unfortunately, we can't wear our titanium armor in the wasteland because it's not radiation proof. But the power armor is, so that's something we can use. Well, guys, I've been saying on uh, a lot of people ask on some Facebook groups, uh, what what components do you need? What GPU, CPU, RAM do you need for this game? And I told them that the game hates um, AMD. But apparently, there's quite a few people out there that use AMD that don't have any problems. Like, as you guys are aware, I have a ton of lag uh, issues with the game, like stutter and stuff like that. That's why I play on low settings. But apparently, they don't have that issue at all. So I need to look into that a bit. And, well, that actually only uh, intensifies my argument that, or reinforces my argument that I think my computer's dying. Slowly but surely, it's busy dying because the fact that mine's touching other people's uh, AMD CP, uh, or, uh, GPUs are not struggling. I've just noticed that a lot of people with in video cards, they don't struggle as much as the people with AMD. And in the beginning, when they um, released 18.0 yeah, 18 release, as you guys remember, they, the whole world was shredded and it was just completely destroyed. And then they had to release an update to fix that. It was 18.1. And then, but for AMD cards, that still wasn't a complete fix because of the lag issues. But now it appears that only some people with AMD cards are lagging. So I don't know if it's just my system that's not strong enough anymore, uh, what's going on. Because I do remember, like for example, when we first got internet here in South Africa, uh, like my household, we could actually run on a like 400 kilobyte per second um, internet line. And then as the years progressed, it was like internet, oh no, 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 no. It was like the internet got more expensive, like the, the data got heavier. And after a while, we had to get like a 4 meg line, an 8 meg line, a 6, you understand what I mean? So I wonder if it isn't the same for this. As the mods progress, my computer that was strong enough to run this at ultra, or high to ultra, it's just not powerful enough anymore because the game itself is getting heavier and heavier with every update. Especially with mods that add so much to the game, my, my computer just can't keep up with it. Okay, so I have to destroy that block now, but I, I think I'm going to leave it just for now. If the zombies want to destroy it for me, they can destroy it for me because de destroying that block is going to take forever. Now what I do want to do quickly over here, after I'm done with these, is I want to make a floor for the pillar over here. If they destroy the pillar or explode by the pillar and they destroy the asphalt, the pillar will fall, and then the rest of the blocks might just start caving. Now, the stairs over here should actually be carrying the weight, but I don't want to rely solely on the stairs. Remember, each of these blocks can hold 40 to the side, so even if the pillar goes, this should still stay up. That's holding 40 out each, those four blocks, and then the stairs over here are also holding 40 out. Unfortunately, the stairs are also holding ramps, which makes a little bit weaker. Don't fall down here. I don't want you stuck down here when I want to place a block. Otherwise, I'm going to have to kill her just to be, uh, get out of the way. It's like the dog in Fallout always getting in the way. That's how the P uh, NPCs are sometimes. What did you say? Every time she says something, I think there's a zombie or something approaching. We just need to keep our eyes and ears open. But then again, I said ears open, and sometimes you can't even hear the zombies. They're right behind you, and just before they swing, they grunt. That's the only way you know there's a zombie behind you. Now, as you guys might have noticed, um, this way of doing it is a little bit inefficient. I should actually have dug out the one block underneath all of these, the outline, placed those, and uh, continued from there, because now if a zombie explodes, it is going to destroy that block in a corner over there, because it's still weak. Um, I mean, that's the thinnest point between the blocks. So... Uh, and then also, if those blocks are destroyed, uh, zombies can ragdoll in there, or glitch through there, and then they'll be stuck. Like, for example, the one horde where the soldier got inside, he was actually ragdolled inside. He was pushed through the blocks into my base. Now, if that happens over here, we have a slight problem. Okay, this should be enough. I just hope they don't destroy this over here. And then they come up over here. We do have more blocks left that I could technically just quickly fix that with. But for now, I just want to do this. I want to get out of here as well. We can't afford to stay just doing base work. So we're going to take this out. I should go two around and then one underneath. Okay, just to make sure the structural integrity doesn't tank over here. Let's just take one out first and then the other. And I mean, I do have these frames over here, but I don't trust them. Although, it's, remember, it's not the frames carrying the weight over here. It's a block on top of the frames. So it's a titanium block right on top of these blocks that are actually doing the carrying. So even if I took that block out, it shouldn't have caved in. But I mean, this is such an expensive block and it is before the horde. I don't want to be taking any chances over here. Okay, now this way, if a zombie comes to the pillar and uh, explodes and stuff over here, it should be okay. I should actually go a third block out. 
The only problem is I should really re uh, replace this whole floor over here with the uh, with these blocks because all of this is now actually this is the weak point. If zombies start exploding here in front of the stairs, they're going to do some serious damage and they're going to start tunneling. We don't want any tunneling occurring. Okay, anyways, for now that is fine. We'll see for the next ward if I need to change anything. For now we're just going to go and say advanced rotation. That's just a little bit of a bad stutter right there. On top, there you go. And then, I wonder if I can reach all the way there. I need to be able to place that. From there on out, it's easier as it gets closer to you. It's that first initial block that's really difficult to place sometimes. I think I'm at least made too many blocks now, so even though I misplaced that block just now, it's not a train smash. There you go. Remember, this is just to ensure that the spiders don't get up here. At the moment, the spiders are going to be our biggest enemy. Because if they get up there, come on, place. If they get up there somehow, it's going to spell the end for us. I wonder why I can't place that block over there. When jumping, I should be able to place it quite easily. Now, at least the green block is underneath, so the rest of the block should be easy enough to place. But I want to actually place another one, a frame right in front of the light over there. So it protects the light a little bit. But my clicking is a little bit too slow, so it's not allowing me to do so. I wonder if I can step a little bit closer. You need to make sure it's filled in over there all the way. Come on. There you go. Okay, and then from this side, as long as it's showing the green block, it's quite easy to place the rest. It's just as it goes out, it's quite easy to fall. Now I have like 600 uh, bobbed fences. But I don't think all of them are going to be necessary, hopefully. I mean, having to play 600 blocks before this horde even, that's just too much of a tall order. I'm actually thinking of right before the horde placing last bit so that it re-establishes my path to the zombies. So, oh come on, I need to place this properly. Oh, did I actually run out? I could have sworn I made enough. Okay, that's 8 too few. Would have been 6 if I didn't misplace Damn, I need to quickly make that so that goes up before the horde arrives. I wanted to make that steel, but it shouldn't be necessary over there because zombies shouldn't be exploding on that side. If they hit each other and there's like demolishes and stuff, then they'll explode over there. But other than that, they shouldn't. So this one over here is making some steel casings. But before that continues, let's make eight more over here. And these I'm just going to place on the top to make sure they take from the start. Now, also, ammo. I'm actually busy making ammo, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Okay, so, as you guys uh, might have guessed, we have eight ton of ammo ready for next I mean, see these corn this corn is growing now and because of the seed was already placed but as soon as I harvest this corn I can't then use this corn to plant I need super corn unfortunately that sucks so bad okay anyways uh, ammo over here as you guys might have noticed we have a ton of coil rifle ammo and we do have two coil rifles so that should be enough to help with everything now I think like I said I'm not going to upgrade those iron bars at all so we're going to put these away and we're going to put the rest of the stuff away as well just to make a little bit of space over here I want to go do those quests and the, uh, the time is running out. So the sooner I finish here, the better. Okay, that goes with me. This we need to place. Ammo pieces go over here. Okay, so we can make even more, as you guys can see, but we just need more steel casings. Although we're not going to need it this horde. We have way too much already. I'm just going to dump these over here. We have a ton of gr uh, grass, so there's no need for that. Um, and then these blocks we can place away for now. Okay, let's go. So all I need to do now... Oh, come on. I hate it when that happens. We need to quickly place the barbed fences. What time is it? 10.52. Okay. So we should be able to quickly go do those quests just to get them out of the way. Because like I said, after this, uh, this next horde, I want to do the Eve quest. So then the other quests are just going to be in the way. I'm going to get confused between them. So these, everything is connected. We just need to enable them before we go. And then barbed fencing. I should actually place a few down here. But let's just first place down this hallway. Now what I was saying guys is I think uh, lastly I need to place over here. I want to go just before the horde. I want to go up these stairs. Go around so the path thing sticks. It shouldn't be necessary but I mean I'm just very paranoid. I wonder if I shouldn't place on top as well. For the behemoths coming through. If the, uh, apparently at game stage 1000 plus which I'm at now. Um, those uh, demon behemoths start showing the, uh, the orange one. And yeah, we need a way to slow them down well, uh, with the electric fences so we can just focus on firing at them. Okay, now those bars should be done. Let's quickly go grab them. I should technically get the bars to steal. So I think if I get back before Horde Knight and there's enough time left, I'll upgrade those. If there isn't time left, then so be it. Uh, I'm not going to stick around too long to find out. Okay, we're going to do this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Jump up. I should have actually made this. Look at that. 
There you go. No, no, there you go. I should have made this jump a little bit broader, not just one by one block. Because I keep bumping my head on the ladder and then it bumps me so far back into the base away from the ladder. And we need to close that second hatch. We need to close both these hatches all night to make sure nothing gets into my base over here. Okay, so we're just going to place the rest over here. Two, three. Nice thing is if you get a nice rhythm going, you don't waste any time at all. I just hope zombies exploding on the underside of here doesn't destroy the electric fence post. Because it is actually very low. Very close to the... Oh, now I can't even jump up there. Now I need to do this and jump onto one of the wedges. But yeah, this bottom row over here is very close to explosions. So let's just hope zombies don't run back and explode that way. That's going to suck. Remember that I thought that's a demolisher zombie over there. Because in um, the U uh, Where's UK mod, you do have demolition and stuff work, uh, walking around. So from the moment that I actually confused my mods. Okay, so if I place all of these over here, I wonder if I should just place a few rows. Um, you don't want to stop the zombies from coming up here. If there's too much in the way, they'll, they'll rather go the other way around. And that's what you do not want happening. I should have actually placed those iron bars, but I can just do that from the roof. That should also be fine. Let's just place this block. Come on, come on, come on. Before 12 o'clock, we need to be out of here. So we can ensure that we can quickly do those quests as needed, and then just keep going from there. So I think onto the sta stairs over here, I'm not going to be placing any of the bob fences. We want them running through the bob fences, not getting stuck on them on this ladder. If too many of them get stuck on the ladder over here, it might just make them explode. You don't want that. So we can do it this way to ensure that they still get up here easily. We can actually place some over here, that's fine. Uh, we, wanna, we want them to get up there quite easily, and then the rest they have to struggle with. If they struggle getting up there, they might just start going for the walls instead. Okay, and then I need to technically glitz the whole floor over here with... Man, this is taking forever. I should have done most of the placing, or I should have done this a long time ago, basically. Okay, just that should be enough. I should place it all around the stairs over here. Well, at least I'm going to do it on three sides of the stairs. I should do it at the back as well, just in case zombies decide to go there and try and wail on the blocks. But I think instead of barb fences, we should actually place some iron spikes over there. That's going to help more destroy the zombies that if they get stuck back there. Because remember, sometimes the zombies go for the back of the stairs for some reason and they just don't go for the stairs. Even though the stairs are in plain sight, which is really, really weird. Okay, that side is done. Let's just quickly do this side. You see, to slow the zombies down, now on the, on the stairs over here, and on top we have barbed fences. The places that you don't want zombies to be, like for example, this pillar in the middle, we should actually place spikes around that. So that if the zombies go for that, at least they will get killed. The, the spikes should do enough damage. Only problem is if a cop goes for there and the, the spikes don't kill them, the cop's going to get mad and explode. And that's another thing you don't want happening. I just realized another mistake of mine. Um, at least the zombies are running so fast, by the time they hit the barbed wire, they should be on the first one. But I shouldn't technically place a barbed wire on the edge of here, because sometimes the zombies get stuck in between these two blocks. Now I'm putting a barbed wire there, slowing, down in the, uh, slowing them down even more, so the chance of them getting stuck is actually a lot higher. I can actually do this quickly. I wonder if I shouldn't just... while I'm here, what's time? Ooh, one o'clock already, we need to move, we need to move. Okay, so I won't be able to do that, I wanted to go for on the other side as well. I wonder if we will be able to do those quests or not. At this stage, it feels like not, because the time is running out fast. We might just be able to do like one or two quests, but that's fine as well. As long as there's fewer quests, we don't get as confused afterwards. And now these go all the way. And that should do it. Over here, we can also go all the way. Because I think behind me, I did the same. So I just want to make sure it matches up. Yep, and then over here, just to make sure... The zombies don't really go for this. Now, this doesn't stop them from, go for, from going for the pillar, but at least it slows them down. Slows down their progress. If they try and go for the pillar, at least they won't break it too fast because they're stuck on the barbed. Come on, there you go. There you go. Okay, now I have way too many of these barbed fences left. What I should actually be doing is just lining up over here. So if they fall down here, yeah, I have time to shoot at them. Now, I should technically, I think for the next war, for the two-hour day horde, I'm going to make sure this whole platform of titanium is covered in barbed fencing. That way we're going to make sure that there's no way the zombies can get to us at all. Okay. Also, as you guys might have noticed, on these blocks of here, I actually added the ramps over there so it's easier for us to jump up like so. Now, we just need to grab these. Uh, copy rotation. I need to still go drop the stuff in the base before we can go on looting. But at least now all the traps are laid. Uh, we just need to flick the switches. I think we can actually do that now. To make sure that's on. And then at least we know that 
we can flick the last switch when we need to face the zombies. I'm gonna, just going to leave these for now. There's no point in destroying that. So we're going to flick this switch. Oops. Now it's on. We're going to flick this one. So it's on. So lastly, as soon as we go in there, we're going to flick this switch just as the ward starts so the zombies can't get to us. Let's quickly go drop everything and make space for looting. As far as the time is running out now, we might just be able, uh, able to do just one mission. But as long as we get a quest or two off the map, it's fine. Now I want to see as well, as soon as this bike cuts out, what time is it in-game? And then uh, hopefully I'm not too far away from the base to be able to make it back before Horde Night starts. Especially with all these hills in the way, you don't want to be stuck out here when the Horde starts. Because uh, these hills slow you down. I mean, just look how it slows down my minibike. Now just imagine if I'm on my bicycle. And then if there's like a dog or a vulture or a tailspin like this, it's just not going to work out that well. So hopefully we can quickly clear out the quest or two over here. And then just head back to the base and get ready for the ward. I'm just going to dump everything I have on me, grab all the ammo, all the guns, we should be fine. We technically only need the rocket launcher and two of the coil rifles. And a glass of water in case the stuff vomits on us. And then also medical supplies, I, I mustn't forget that. Okay, so we're just going to do this. This is a fetch quest. It's upstairs, let's see if I can bypass everything. It's going to save me so much time if I can just bypass, especially since it's a fetch quest. This is actually good. This is what we need. Jump up. Jump up. Don't bump your head. I'm still not on the right level. Let's jump up even further. Like so. I'm trying not to make too much noise just in case the zombies hear me. Um, but yeah, let's see if I can get through this place fast enough. Now it should be in this room over here. So let's see if I can break open a glass or two. I should actually mine through, but I think that's going to make too much noise. Okay, yeah, there's demons in here somewhere. You can actually hear them burn. Jump up. It's right underneath here. There you go. And then I should technically go for the secret stash on top as well, but we've done that already so many times. And killing all those zombies there are, is going to take way too long. So let's quickly go hand this in. What trader is this? Please tell me it's close by. If it's the furthest trader, that's going to suck. Yeah, it's the furthest one. And there's one new trader right here. Nice. It's going to be this furthest one. Damn it. What's the time right now? Uh, no, no, no. Climb off the bike. Time. We should be able to make it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't get stuck on stuff now. Damn. Okay, so unfortunately it's the furthest trader away. So let's hope I can actually get there and back. Um, if I do a second quest, it should just be at this trader over here. I hope. I don't think all the quests are for the other trader. Uh, obviously, choose for that one, choose for this one. Let's hope the other two quests for this uh, quest we just did is this trader of yeah. Not again the furthest trader. Guys, 100% what I'm doing now is really, really dumb. Especially if the minibike cuts out before I get to the trader, then I'm in between a rock and a hard place. Now, I think with the next skill points we get, we should actually really master mechanic, the mechanic class. So we can get the motorcycle. I mean, if we had the motorcycle, this would be a breeze. But this minibike is just a little bit too slow to really do long distances like that. Especially on Horde Day with the Horde Day approaching, Horde Night approaching. Me doing this is actually really, really dumb right now. So let's just hope I can actually get that second quest in. I don't think I will be able to. But at least as long as we can get this one in, get the quest, not accept a new one, that's one less quest on the board for us. Okay, so it's the guard captain. What do you have for us? Let's gonna grab that and a steel fire axe. That's fine. Let's go. No new jobs. We're just gonna go, 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 go. Man, this is really hectic. It's now, I want to just, it's now 12 past 3. We should be able to do one more quest. That is, if we don't have to come all the way back here. If that's the case, I'm not going to uh, come hand in the quest. I just hope that there's enough time to hand it in after the tra after the horde. It's going to suck if after the horde it says, no, sorry, um, you failed that quest because you didn't hand it in in time or something like that. Especially if you log off. If you're in the middle of the quest, like you still have to hand it in and you log off, sometimes that quest fails or resets itself or whatever. And I don't want that happening. That's going to be too costly. If this was 30 minute days, we'd be late for the ward right now. Um, but yeah, guys, I think I just hope, now that I think about it, that I didn't use up all my scrap polymers. Because we're going to need it for the other uh, motorcycle. Um, or rather, we're going to make the motorcycle and then we're going to want to put mods like turbo and storage on that as well. And if I used up all my scrap polymers for the coil rifle batteries, then unfortunately we won't be able to do that, obviously. So let's hope that's not the case. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're very close to this PR. I hope it's just another fetch one. The uh, more we can hand in right now, we don't really want to go for the secret stash. We just want to get the reward for handing it in and then also get it off the map. And it's almost 4 o'clock, so my bike should stop working soon as well. And if it stops working, then I'm not going to go to the trader. If it stops working at the trader, that's ideal. Uh, okay, let's do this. What's this? 
fetch and clear. Okay. So we're going to make a ton of noise quickly. Just use the AK. Any zombies? Any zombies? Hello? Why are you still asleep? Okay. We're not going to loot any of the zombies. We're just quickly going to kill all of them. Make sure there's nothing left over here. Hello? Okay, so at least we have a powerful gun. So this should be quite easy. Unlocked. Nothing in the bathroom. This is not unlocked. Let's quickly do this. I don't mind getting infected as long as I'm not set alight right now. That's why priorities, priorities. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. No zombie in here. At least there's no cave and floor. That would have sucked. And also, where's the thing that I need to fetch? It's on the outside of here. Yeah. It says it's right here. Oh, there it is. It was right underneath me. I would have missed that just because I'm so focused on clearing out the zombies. It's a good thing I just noticed that. Damn. Okay, so jump up here. So that one. Why are they not waking up for my noise? You think I'm making so much noise with a gunfire over here? No, 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 no. Ooh, sometimes they stand up and vomit at the same time. Now let's just see if there's a zombie in here. There might be, might not be, but I'm not going to take a chance. Okay, and we have to go. I think this way. Wait, I think we have to go through the door over here, don't we? I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to be going, so let's hope I get all the zombies. There's no zombies underneath, so we have to go out this side. If there's vultures, we also have to kill the vultures. Let's just hope they're not too hard of a target to hit. Otherwise, that's going to cause a problem for us. Sometimes these vultures can be so tricky, it waste your time. Okay, now we're going to get to the roof. This is going to be the tough part. Let's just make sure I'm ready for this. Close this off. Okay, so many demons. So many, so many, so many demons. To make sure they don't vomit at me. And that's going to be a problem during the war as well. The more of them vomit at me, the worse it is for me. Come on, don't let her see me. Or if she sees me, at least don't let her vomit. Okay. We're going to quickly get this bag. There you go. And we're going to get this over here. I'm not interested in the tools. Just for apps what's in the hidden stash. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's, yep, return to trader. And it's the furthest one away. Damn it. We won't be able to hand it in right now. That is a shame, but unfortunately we can't afford to. But why is there a demon zombie in the middle of nowhere? That has to be a screamer horde. Oh, yep, there's a screamer horde. This is definitely a screamer horde. I'm not going to waste time on that now. I'm going to head back to the base and get ready. So a screamer or a spider, one of the two screamed, and that just spawned zombies over there. But I'm not going to waste time. Unfortunately, there's a trader really far away that we need to go and hand this quest into. And by the time we get back, it's horde night, so I'm not going to take that chance. We need to eat, heal up, grab all our weapons and stuff, and prepare for this horde. Guys, I'm just going to leave you guys here. Uh, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback, didn't miss anything, what you guys think about this episode, anything at all, leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time as we face this horde.